everybody. So a real quick video here. Um, I just wanted to release some video for people that didn't see the stream. The Square Enix did a stream today. Just kind of recapping it. This is a post on Reddit. I will make sure I link this in the description so you can check it uh, later on if you'd like to look at it for yourself. Uh, I was really excited for the stream today. And I had to work. I was at work. And right after the stream started, I started getting notifications from... Uh, some uh, viewers of the channel that are like, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? And I was trying so hard to keep this spoiler free. And so I'm just like, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, guys, but please stop. Please stop. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible. I want to be surprised. So I, I, but you know, it's awesome. I love, I love the passion and the energy you guys bring to this game and the announcement. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, so without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started here. So yeah, so the Twitch stream today. February 26th, uh, post on uh, Reddit by the user Sladen. So permanent changes starting February 27th. So tomorrow, updated daily login bonuses. Day, th day three, gem 100 turns to gem 400. Day five, gem 300 turns to draw ticket. And day eight, wow, the draw ticket turns into three power tokens. So weapon tokens, that's awesome. Um, the 100 gems turn into 400. That's just so that... Um, you know, cause we're getting 400 in gems from daily logins, you know, right now we get a hundred on one day and then 300 on another. So, you know, we're getting the same amount of gems, but the power tokens, um, that's, that's awesome. Three of them. Fantastic. Updated cycle quest. Cactars permanently added as a chance encounter. Okay. J j this just might be me personally, but I love running the cycle quests with these random flower cactars appearing. Sometimes they help so much with, uh, you know, just farming and getting massive amounts of experience in one go. It really, really helps, um, you know, level up and get crystals. Uh, it, you know, the chance is really low, but over the course of a 30-minute book, you know, you might see three or four, or, you know, even five of them spawn. I've, I think I've had the most I've ever had was four, but um, yeah, so that's that's awesome. Uh, Koopa Card Mini returning. Koopa Card Mini 2 is being introduced. I don't, yeah, I don't, uh, that's, that's not news for me. Limited time, Final Fantasy XII Conflicted Hero starting on February 28th. Okay, so the Vaughn costume. Yep, okay. So Vaughn costume, Vaughn EX, almost certainly confirmed. Later this month, another costume looks like Ace. Interesting, okay. So starting February 28th, Crystal Awakenings. Setzer, Waka, Ida, Populimo, Lael, Yuri. Video showed Vaughn EX. Wow. Okay, so they are not delaying Lael's Awakening. That is... Shocking, hundred percent shocking to me. I because of how broken he was in JP, and of course, you know, Chase Meta isn't the necessity it is in global like it was in JP. But still, Lael after Awakening is is a god among men. So, um, wow, and that's starting February twenty eighth. That's what today's the twenty sixth. So two days from now. Oh my god, that's really soon. I really uh, I. I was completely caught off by this. I really need to start working on a uh, Awakening Round 6 Primer video. Huh. Okay, so, yeah, but there's the list. So that's awesome. Um, Setzer, if I had to pick one character that I would recommend to any player to awaken, it would be Setzer. I think Setzer's Awakening is absolutely tremendous, and his character moving forward is almost essential for some boss battles because of his uh, Freeze Joker gimmick. Um, he gets a tremendous EX in the future too, but yeah, his awakening, I am so hyped about that. Uh, Waka, yeah, Ida, yeah, Poppy Limo, very, very excited. Oh my gosh, the little, little potato, he, he's a monster after awakening. Lael, uh, God Among Men, and then Yuri. I have Yuri's stuff, and I've never used him once, so shows you, tells you what I think about him. Heretic Quest, Power Magic's Chasm, solo only quests at first, co-op quests added later, Awesome. Permanently returning content. So, Celis Lost Chapter starts March 4th. Kane on March 18th. Pandemonium Trial starting on March 11th. Okay. Act 2, Chapter 1 starting March 14th. 7 is the new character. Okay, so on 7's banner in JP, uh, they introduced Rem's EX. And Rem's EX is really, really good. So, I'll actually probably uh, chase that one a little bit. Um, it's a shame that the Mercy system isn't um isn't a thing yet because if it was i'd probably chase it harder you know having that guarantee because her ex makes her really really good support and i'd really like to use her but yeah i don't know i'll probably dump some tickets and you know, just see see where that takes me 
Uh, permanent changes starting February 28th. Introducing the G token system. Okay. The G fuel. The gamer fuel token system. Earn G tokens where you perform a multi-draw and draws featuring EX weapon. Is this the mercy system? Is this the mercy system that, that JP, JP just got? Exchange G tokens into that draws G token exchange for the future EX weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god. We go oh wow. G tokens are token specific to each draw can be used for the draw that they're obtained from. We're getting the mercy system in global this quick after JP got it. I am so excited. If I, if my voice is shaking, it's because I'm sitting in my car. I'm really cold. I'm I'm about to go into a restaurant and have some yummy food. But you know, Final Fantasy is life, so I had to sit in my cold car and record this. Anyway, um, wow. Oh my God, that oh there's oh this helps. Okay, in, so in my honest opinion, this helps the game so much because now I think this encourages spending. Players know that even if they dump a truckload of gems and they don't get the EX, that they're guaranteed to get it now, right? I think it's I think it's seventy five thousand gems in JP. I don't know if they have the amount here uh, that you'll need to spend for the guaranteed EX, but in JP it's seventy five thousand gems, which is, uh, is quite steep. But wow, it's a hell of a lot better than dropping a hundred thousand or hundred and fifty thousand and tickets, and you still don't get it, and then you're just shit out. Of, uh, okay, I already said it. You're just shit out of luck. Oh, I swear! Yikes! Watch out, YouTube police. Um, <laughs> I'm having I'm having fun with this one. This is fun. Um, wow, mercy! I'm so excited. I was just telling somebody in the comments earlier today. I was prepared to be like Thanos. And just sacrifice everything for Lightning ZX, and now I don't have to. So that's 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 great. Draws that begin for the G token system will not be updated to include the G token system. Okay, so basically, draws moving forward will have it. Draws before what the twenty eighth? Yeah, twenty eighth will not have it. But yeah, so um, just quick, quick like primer on how it works. So basically, in JP, you spend seventy five thousand gems. After every multi draw, every five thousand gems, you get I think it's twenty tokens. And then um, once you have 300 tokens, so 15 draws, a.k.a. you know 75,000 gems, you have enough tokens then to get any EX on the banner. Uh, as long as the EX is on the banner. Um, which, you know, for us, global, it's just going to be the one EX at first, right? But later on, you know, when they start featuring two or three EXs per banner, then you'll actually be able to choose, which is really cool. So Vane character event, March 7th. Deuce should be the other, but they didn't mention the name. Yeah, so Deuce then would follow Fang if we're following JP timeline. Wow, 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 wow. I am so, I'm so excited that I skipped all the spoilers. Oh, this is so worth it, guys. I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. I think the Mercy system being put in this quick, I think this kind of puts to rest um, any doubts about this game being very free-to-play friendly. Um, especially for Gotcha. Um, I'm a Kingdom Hearts Chi refugee, which if you've never played that game, um, consider yourself a blessed soul. Just, just filth, just filth. Okay. My own, my honest opinion, right? It's my opinion. So if you like the game, cool. There's some cool things about it, but the, the Gotcha mechanics in that game are filth. Just, ugh. anyway, this game is like the complete opposite of that. Whereas I felt Kingdom Hearts Chi felt like it was just taking advantage of my nostalgia, eating me up, spitting me out, begging me for more money, and oh well, yeah, you have this these medals, cool. But next week, man, you better watch out because that next medal is just gonna make all of your medals look like garbage. This game, not only do they, you know, give you tickets, the Power Stone mechanic, you know, other things that I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Now we have a mercy system. You can get that glorified weapon that you really, really want. Worst case scenario. I mean, you know, what else can we really ask for as players? You know, as a, in a free to play game, this is this is unheard of. This is just nuts. I mean, I know there's mercy systems in other games, but this game is a complete package. I think is just just tremendous, and I think we're really, really fortunate to um, to have a game that's just this kind. So, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. Awakenings and new Awakening Wave in two days. Oh, my God. I need to start work on that video as soon as I get home. I'm doing research and getting crunching numbers and all that. But I'm so excited. Mercy system. Oh! <laughs> it's a good time, guys. It's a good time. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys. Um, get some good information out of the stream if you missed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, please take care of yourselves. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.